what you see here is a cadence theme and we're on the card page below the card you see four cross sells products i have attached to this product here and currently there is no way for you to show this on the side card like this therefore today i'm gonna show you how to add those four cross sells products in your side card like this so if you're interested then jump in there are only a couple of things we have to do. First, let's add the cross sells products. I'm going to open this hoodie up and delete this product from the cart. Now I'm going to edit the product. And under the linked products, I'm going to add those cross sells products. For example, cap and beanie. and sunglasses and belt four products now I'm gonna update and see let's see whether it worked I'm gonna add it to cart there is nothing currently here view cart and those are the four cross sells products now we need to add a small code snippet to the functions PHP file or better yet to the code snippets plugin if you don't have the code snippets plugin installed already then I would su suggest you to do that because it makes your life much easier if you want to handle the custom functions in order to install this plugin go to plugins add new and search for code snippets install and activate it and after that you'll see the snippets menu on the left click on add new Give it the title, for example, cross sells products in mini cart. Now inside the code box, you have to add only one line of code. And this is the one. It tells us that we're going to show the cross sell products inside the side cart. Now choose only run on site front end and save changes and activate. Now if we are going to refresh the page, well there it is, but it looks awful. We are going to fix it with a couple of lines of CSS code. Therefore go to appearance and customize. Choose additional CSS. And now add this piece of CSS code to this box. Both codes, the CSS and the code snippet I showed you before, you can find them in the description of this video. Now if I'm going to publish that and refresh the page, there it is. So what did we do here? We showed with the CSS that font size of the heading should be 20 pixel pixels and font weight is normal this is what I'm talking about and the other piece of code just told the row gaps to be smaller and the columns sh should be 45 percent now a couple of things for you to know I'm gonna delete this one here go to hoodie if I add to cart there is nothing here but if I refresh it then it's gonna be here so it uh, does not work with the Ajax or it does not appear after you add uh, the product to the cart but it works so as you saw it wasn't very hard to accomplish and therefore if you find this tutorial helpful then press thumbs up share it to others and subscribe to this channel if you do that, then you'll be the first to be notified about the next tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.